she just said that we have been displaced because of the war and now we don't want to be dis displaced because of the effect of the climate change. Sudan is one of the countries that are really on the front line of climate change. Darfur's had a, a bad rip over the last 20 years. It's now peaceful. But on the other hand, the situation has become more severe because you've got climate change. So we have been here in a pastoralist village, talking to the people about their life here. And we got to know a lot about how the weather changing is affecting the way how they are doing things. Because they said that now it's much more hotter than it was before, and also the rain is more unpredictable. تغيير في يعني مرة مطر بيجي بسيط وسخانة يعني. في الزراعة بتاعتهم ما بكون متوقع إنه يعني يزرعوا في شهر خمسة كان في شهر خمسة وستة الآن تغير لحد شهر تمان. وأحيانا الناس هم سبب ذاته في زحف الصراع هم بيكتوا الشجر يبني منه. سادم الحطول الأمطار بصورة منتظمة أثرت. في البيئة وأثر للإنسان والحيوان. مواسم الفاد الناس بيزرع زراعتهم تحت الوادي بصل في كل بتاع بيساعدوا. الآن الخريف لما تأخر ما بيستطيعوا يزرعوا في أطراف الوادي لأنه جات كميات هائلة من الأمطار والسيول وجرفة الأراضي عملت انجراف. زي سجلت so many solutions of all that. They ask us to help them to cultivate trees so as to make a shelter belt to protect their farms and at the same time protect their residential area and also they, they are they trying to, to find a way of how to improve the soil, uh, soil features so as to agriculture to be a bit more One thing alone can't, can't work, it's like one engineering solution like a dam on its own can't work. You need to have people's buy-in, you need peace behind it, you need people's ability to grow appropriate crops, you need people to have techniques to protect the soil as well to prevent water runoff, um, then you need people to have business skills as well so they can sell their crops and plan for the next harvest and slowly by putting all those bits together you can form one whole solution that actually really changes a community entirely. Our conflict resolution work is a matter of bringing people together and then getting them to come up with solutions to the problems that they're unhappy about. So it might be something as simple as getting them to agree over where animals can graze and we do that through something like just putting a concrete post and colouring it accordingly right. and then people know that that's where animals can graze. So we have been today in Majzoub village where we have been welcomed with a big party that's celebrating what Practical Action has been doing in this community. And we got to listen to a lot of stories about how their life has been changed. I spoke to a farmer called Al Hafiz and he told me that he has been displaced in Khartoum. After Practical Action worked in his village, he was able to come back and start working in his farm. His condition is completely changed. He was able to buy a miller for himself. It was really lovely to see how his life has changed. Listening to all this story makes me really proud of being part of Practical Action and supporting this long-lasting change.